Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Marie D here, back with some more OnlyFans creator advice for you. And today is a really, really popular topic that I don't think a lot of creators are taking advantage of. I wasn't. For almost a year of my OnlyFans career, I wasn't doing this. And then I did it for three hours and I made almost $5,000. So let's get right into it. Today we're talking about live streaming on OnlyFans. As you know, if you are a content creator for TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, wherever, you know live streaming is where it's at. Some really iconic live streaming places that you might have heard of are places like Twitch or Kick, which is a newer one. I want you guys to know, live streaming is the foundation for a lot of social media megastars. Like all the Twitch streamers, I mean, we could go into all of that, but let's not, let's stick to the OnlyFans stuff. What I'm saying is live streaming is important across all platforms. I always tell the creators that I work with on my blog, go live whenever you can. It is hard, it does take time. However, some people build huge audiences just from going live on places like Twitch or even TikTok or YouTube. So just keep that in mind. Going live is so important for the health of all of your pages. And then today we are going to be talking about specifically OnlyFans and what I've learned from going live about five times now on OnlyFans. So first of all, I want you guys to know going live is an absolute life hack or cheat code for OnlyFans. I don't know what the right word would be, but if you're not taking advantage of it, you are definitely missing out. For me, I wasn't taking advantage of it because I was scared to go live. You know, I was scared for what my subs were gonna tell me to do. I was scared that I would get general stage fright. You know, in general, I was just scared. And I think that's what a lot of people feel. And I'm someone who's been on social media for years now and I do public speaking in my real life and things like that and I was still scared. So don't be, you know, if you're feeling scared, don't think that I wasn't or that these creators that are live all the time don't. Like we all get scared. But you know what, finally I went for it in February of 2023 and needless to say, it was a huge success. After about three hours, uh, we collected about $5,000 worth of tips and it was a really, really great time. I had a really fun experience it's a completely different atmosphere and feel than making normal content for OnlyFans. So I'm gonna give you guys my top tips for live streaming on OnlyFans and we're gonna just get right into that. But before I go any further, I want you to know that the creators that are on my OnlyFans advice blog that I host on Fansly have already seen all this information in February after I live streamed because they get the inside scoop first and foremost. They even know about a new platform I'm about to join before anybody else knows, and nobody else will know until they announce it publicly. But my Fansly creators do know. They always get the inside scoop. Like, even if I get a surgery or if I get a treatment, I try to fill them in, because like this is all relevant to our job. So my creator advice blog that I said is hosted on Fansly, it is all about being a creator on OnlyFans. You get one-on-one -on -one question and answer with me, but you also get access to hundreds of posts. They even include step-by-step -step tutorials about how to do the basic things on OnlyFans all the way up to the marketing and the mass messaging and all of the good stuff that you need to do to be making money on OnlyFans. Most importantly though, you really do get guided by me throughout the process. I help you with whatever you need, even if you need just basic social media advice or if you need help dealing with subscribers, all the way to if you need help emotionally being a mom like me, for example, and being on OnlyFans. So please join that blog if you wanna to talk to me. I don't answer random emails. I don't answer social media messages. I simply do not have time. The way to talk to me is by either joining my OnlyFans if you're interested in seeing the naughty side of me, or if you're interested in getting a mentorship by me, that's gonna be my Fansly blog. The link is down below, of course, as you know. And just remember, my Fansly blog comes with a lot of different benefits. I wanna talk about them for just a second, really briefly. My benefits, besides the hundreds of posts about how to become successful on OnlyFans, are that you get a free trial for my OnlyFans for every month you're subscribed on Fansly. So it used to be just that first month, you get to see my OnlyFans for the first month. However, now it's every time you update your Fansly subscription and get another month, you get a free month for my OnlyFans. Another great benefit is that you get a free PPV video from my OnlyFans if you are one of my Fansly girls 
or creators. If you subscribe to my Fansly blog and you're just nervous about creating PPV content or creating those type of videos, you can come to my OnlyFans with that free trial link and request one video. You get one video free and it really helps these creators learn kind of how these videos are being made and you know what's actually going down. That's another benefit. And then other than that, you get things like a Twitter retweet. I retweet all my girls if you guys request it. I can even audit your social media accounts, do things like that. So make sure to join me on Fansly. If you have any questions, if you are a beginner, or if you just wanna see what I'm doing, even though you're quite experienced, uh, I've heard that it's helpful from those points of view as well. So let's get into these tips for live streaming on OnlyFans. My very first tip for live streaming on OnlyFans is market your live stream. So what I mean by market your live stream is I just mean announce it. Most importantly, you wanna announce it to your subs. You wanna give them, I would say a one to three day notice. Anything more than that, they're gonna forget about it. Three days might even be too much. Do it two days before, ideally, or even the day before, let them know. What I did the last time I went live is I sent a mass message to everyone and it was a little selfie video and it was like, hi babe, I'm going live on OnlyFans and I really want to see you there. Please let me know if you're gonna make it at 7 p.m. CST and make sure you have that time and date down pat so they can be there at that time and they can schedule because if you have some really great fans like me, they will arrange their entire day around your live, which is so awesome and I love when people do that. So definitely make sure to market it to your subs mainly. However, I also marketed it publicly. So I marketed it on my Instagram pages and on my Twitter and Reddit. So make sure to do that. Just give a little heads up, just say, hey guys, I am going live on Wednesday, whatever, at 7 p.m and I just put a sale on my page so that you can get in and see my live. I really recommend only doing live streams on a paid page. Anywhere else, you're just gonna have a bunch of freeloaders, you might as well be on TikTok, because at least you'll be reaching new people. So try to stick to your paid page. I know most of you guys have free and paid, so try to stick to your paid page, and now we're gonna get into more so generating the income during your live. So after you market your live, you put a sale on to get more people, you are going to strike the live stream. My second tip for live streaming on OnlyFans is to have a theme or a format that you are going to follow for the live stream. So what I mean by that is have a general idea of something you can follow so that it runs smoothly and you kind of have a schedule of events. What I do a lot of times whenever I want to live stream is I do a lingerie try-on haul. So I'll kind of say, hey guys, I bought a bunch of new outfits for my OnlyFans. If you want to get a sneak peek of them, join me on my live stream and I will be showing you guys all my new outfits. And that's kind of how it gets started. After this, I'm going to talk more about going into asking for tips and things like that. But this is a really easy way to ask for tips because people can vote on what outfit you want. You could say only people who have tips will be able to vote and things like that. But what I'm saying about the format is have a specific theme that you can go to so that there's none of those like dead periods where you're just like kind of awkwardly standing there like, oh, what do I do? No one's interacting with me, which probably won't happen. People are very interactive on live. So don't be too worried about that. However, it will really help your nerves if you have an agenda of things you want to do. Like, okay, first I'm going to try on these outfits. Now I'm going to unbox these toys. You know, have some stuff to do. You don't have to buy new outfits. Just do a try-on haul or a lingerie haul. Whatever you want to do. That's just the format that I feel most comfortable in. But there are tons of different things you can do. You can do topless get ready with me. You can be in the shower. You can be with a partner. Whatever you want to do. What I did for my record-breaking live stream was I invited some friends on board. So I had a couple girlfriends come. We were all just drinking wine, having fun. Everything felt very natural. And as the tips started rolling in, it was able to get a lot more naughty and people realized that. And so that's why they kept tipping. So have some sort of format or theme that you want to follow. This will give you confidence whenever you're going into your live stream. And this will minimize those awkward, quiet times because you have an agenda and things you want to do. Now to minimize it even further, we're going to go into our next tip. And my third tip for live streaming on OnlyFans is don't be afraid to ask for tips. Whenever I say don't be afraid to ask for tips, I do want you to keep in mind that you don't want to seem like you're money hungry or like you don't want to seem aggressively asking for money. That's not attractive. And just keep that in mind. You know, these people are already paying to support you. Another benefit of only doing it on the paid page to kind of ease that frustration. And, you know, this is a benefit of being on your page is being able to catch your live streams. So just keep that in mind as well. 
But also remember, people are on your OnlyFans to tip you and give you money. So don't be afraid to ask for tips. What I did whenever I was first starting out and I was by myself in my live stream, I was like, all right guys, I have two outfits I wanna try on next. Here's a green one, here's a white one. Whoever tips first gets to choose. The tips start rolling in and the first tipper chose the whatever color outfit, the green outfit, and so that's the one I put on. Very easy way to ask for tips. However, another benefit of the OnlyFans live stream format is that whenever someone tips, it will automatically have a little blue money sign icon by it. So you can start interacting with those people more. You can see who has and who hasn't tipped. It's really beneficial because you want to prioritize those who have tipped and who are being generous with you. I always make sure to interact with them more and I'm more open to hearing their requests. Now, what you need to remember though is that everything you do has a value on it. So as an OnlyFans creator, you are being paid to do certain actions most of the time. You have to understand this is my personal advice. My advice is not one size fits all. So this might not work for you. However, if you create the content that I do, I consider myself mom next door, girl next door that has a slightly more explicit side. I do do some pornographic videos in the PPV portion of my page. So if you are like that, you know that your more explicit content has higher value. So don't be afraid to kind of wait and hold off until your tips get to a certain amount to start doing more explicit things. So basically for me, when I was live streaming with some girls, I was just like, all right guys, like once we get to $300, we're gonna make out. Once we get to $500, we're gonna do another action and so on and so forth. I can't get to the nitty gritty details here, but I do so more in Fansly on my advice blog. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna kind of do my best to not make this an R-rated conversation, even though it definitely is. But anyways, you guys, don't be afraid to have that structure as well. Also, whenever I'm talking about this, I want you to remember whenever you go live to go ahead and hit that tick that says show collected tips. People want to see how many tips you collect so that they can help you work towards that goal and the goal is more visual to them. So that's another thing that you can do to increase your tips is just offer actions, whatever you feel comfortable with. This has to be what you're comfortable with. Everything you have to do in life is what you're comfortable with, right? So if you're comfortable with using a toy, you know, showing certain things, doing certain things, you can do those for tips. And it's actually really fun to interact with people and have these kind of live shows. It's a great experience and it felt very, very liberating for me and it was just a lot of fun. Another bonus tip, get release forms before you feature anybody on your OnlyFans. The release forms feature is very easy. Whenever you go to OnlyFans, just click that at button. You'll be able to create a release form for anybody you need. For my fourth tip is going to be, be ready to stay on for several hours. So this tip is really important because you kind of think, oh, I'm gonna go live. I'll, I'll go live for 30 minutes. I'll go live for an hour, you know, just to say hi and interact a little bit. No, unfortunately it doesn't work like that. The live streaming is pretty consistent throughout any platform. It takes people about an hour before your audience is really there. So just remember that, like your audience isn't even gonna be there fully for an hour. So for me, I've noticed what it basically looks like is just like, the first 50 people or so are there within the first hour, but then at the end of an hour and a half, I'll have a few hundred. And then once I have those few hundred is whenever the tips really start rolling in. The last time I was live, I was live for like four hours and it flows really easily and it goes really fast because you're like constantly talking and interacting. My advice for you for this one is just like mentally prepare yourself block off your day, make it a thing. This is gonna be a really big financial boost for you as well. And it's also going to be a huge confidence boost for you once you go live one time. Don't forget to just really time block. Time block off all, like a half a day for your live. It's really fun. And if you cut it off short, it might be frustrating for your viewers. So just make it like if you just have one day a week that you can really just be in bed or do whatever you wanna do in the shower or wherever, just know you wanna be live for at least three hours for sure. Those are my like biggest tips for live streaming. I really challenge you if you are an OnlyFans creator and you've never gone live, I really challenge you to go live this week. Go live this week, even if you have no like expectations, just do it. You can do it. <laughs> I know it's scary. I know it's intimidating being live right in front of people and interacting with your subscribers and you know, you want to do well and you don't know what they're expecting. 
don't worry about that. Don't worry about their expectations. Do what makes you feel comfortable and happy. And I promise you people will see that and they will tip you and they will have a good time with you. I also went through with my girls some like ideas of live streams and for me personally the best live streams most successful ones have been girl on girl live streams like just with another girl and we start out just literally drinking wine doing girly stuff and then it gets better as time and tips go on boy girl live streams are always fun you can start off by yourself doing your lingerie haul and then move forward once tips coming and get a boy in there Another live stream idea which you'll see on Twitch and things like that are spin the wheel game. You can create a wheel that has different rewards. People tip you so that you spin the wheel and then you either do an action that was on the wheel or you privately send them something that was on the wheel. This is all a really popular idea. You can definitely research more of that the spin the wheel game. You can do a live stream in the shower. You can do a live stream by yourself in bed. You can do a live stream wherever you're comfortable and safe. But just try it, I'm telling you. A bonus tip about going live is that OnlyFans will promote your profile if you are live. There are three suggested users whenever someone logs into OnlyFans. There's no algorithm to it, it's just completely random. If you're live, you're more likely to go up on those suggested users. So don't forget that. That's the one advertising chance OnlyFans will give you. It will boost your profile Anytime I go live, I get probably 100 subscribers. So it's really great and it's really fun. Don't be scared. You can do it. Leave your questions below. And I hope to see you guys at the next video. Thank you for watching.